This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. Natural, just like you say, well, I ain't had no mama, I ain't had no daddy. But you had a you had you still had a will to live. That proves that you have a desire to raise something, to live, to create life. Who is this? You came with her, right? Come here, sister. Come here. You can y'all came together, right? What's that's your friend? Y'all dealing with the uh, feminine spirit? I mean the, the lesbian spirit? Huh? Y'all y'all gotta cut that out. I'm gonna show you. You better than that. And you know what you, you know what that's actually doing? You murdering your race. Because you can't lay with her, neither her with you, and create more of you. Well, you that's right. 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 Both of y'all die. That's it. You're done. You're done. You've left nothing. You haven't contributed to your race at all. Zero. Zero. Come on. The book. Hold on, brother. What are you feminine, brother? Come back, man. Where he at? All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. That's double. That's double right there. The book of Psalms, chapter 137 and verse 9. And this is, remember, this is love. Remember that, sister. This is love. I'm not going to lie to you and ask you for your money when I'm done. I'm not going to do that to you. We're going to tell you what you must do to live. So that I see you in the kingdom of heaven. That's right. Yo, yo, that's sis right there. That's my sister. I saw her back in the... She made it. Rocky Mountain. She made it. That's my wish. That's my want. Come on. Nine. Come on. Verse nine. Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones. Why? Because God just told you that that was their work. So it says reward her even as her works were. So what she did, what Babylon the Great, with this new Egypt, what the so-called white man did to us, happy shall we be to do it double to them. That's right. Happy. happy. Oh yeah, come on. Now these are real illustrations. They did that to us. We didn't make these. You can Google these images. This is what they, see what he's doing? Look at the man. That's see the amazing. baby? That's a baby. He's going to beat them against the mountain. Actually. You see that? What are they doing to them? All of them did not receive the white image of Christ. All of them said, no, that's not Jesus. I don't believe that. I don't believe that. And they hung them and cooked them. They hung them and cooked them. By twelves. Why? As a representation of this. They know who you are. They know you're the princesses of God. They know that. They're not confused. They're not confused. They know. Oh, yo, look, them black people crazy as hell 
they don't even know they're the 12 tribe. They don't even know it. Right. We won. We did it. We did it. Come on. Give me um, homosexuality. Yeah, Leviticus yeah. chapter 18. 18 Leviticus 18. Come on. Y'all got to understand this. Because y'all, you so, listen, this is one day we speaking, right? This is just one day. Y'all just stumbled upon the brothers out here on the street. Because, but you've been lied to. For, how old are you? 19, how old are you? 22. Y'all been y'all been living lies and learning lies as we all have. Me too. I'm uh, 37. I'm 37. But I've been I've been learning lies for what most of my life. Most of my life. That's what we all come. All of us been learning lies most of our life. But then we say, hold on. So I heard somebody say I'm an Israelite. What does that mean? Oh, whoa, hold on. I have a culture. I have heritage. I have something. So I'm not just a slave? It's, it, I had a history before the slave ships. I had a history before Africa. I had a history before that. Wow, okay, what is that? So who is that? Something sparked something in me as well. I did. I saw your brothers once upon a time too, and I was living, I was doing bad things. You understand what I'm saying to you? So I'm, I'm to, what we, what we deal, how we dealing with you is in love. In love. All right? You are people. You are my sister, not the other people. I'm not going to fight for them, sis. You fighting for the white man, too? All praises. All praises. So y'all can be friends, but that that that, that uh, homosexual stuff, it must stop. You got to stop it. You got to stop it. Both of y'all are beautiful women for worthy men. That's what both of y'all are. Worthy men. Come on. The book of Leviticus, chapter 20 and verse 13. If a man also lie with mankind. Why, why are we reading about men here? Because the the men are to be the leaders in the community. Yep. So the Lord, just like if you go, if, if somebody rob your house, if a little boy rob your house, right? Who are you going to go talk to? His, his well, the, the police. But I'm saying if you're going to go to his household, who are you going to talk to? The little boy? You're going to talk to the man. You're going to talk to the father. Right. You're going to talk to who's in charge. You understand that? Come on. If a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman. So the same way a man would lie with a woman, if his intentions are to lie with a man that way, come on. Both of them uh -huh. have committed an abomination. Read. They shall surely be put to death. That's what the Bible says. That's how God feels about that. That's how God feels about that. This country and what it's done, especially as far as homosexuality in this modern age, it's, 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 it's really done our people a disservice. Right. It's, that's what the Bible calls this place, spiritual Sodom. What was going on in Sodom? Sodom and Gomorrah. So much evil. Huh? huh? So much evil. What was the evil? Uh, homosexuality. Homosexuality. That's what it was. A man would not touch a woman. You read about that in the Bible. A man was offered... Uh, uh, men were offered women who had never been touched. They didn't want it. They wanted the men. They wanted the men. They were offered women. They wanted the men. That's spiritual side. This place is no different. This place is no different. This place has formed laws. One minute to give you the the, the, the safety in that act that will get you killed. The Lord is going to kill. The Lord is going to kill you for that. You understand? Your natural person. Give, uh, give me um, Romans one. Give me Romans 1. Your, natu your, your natural fulfillment is to have children. That's your natural use. This society has taught, nah, that ain't cool, or that ain't trendy, or that ain't what I want, or that ain't, that's, that make me, that belittles me. Well, what if I was belittled by, uh, uh, by, what if your father was belittled by not having, or not laying with a woman? What if your father, you wouldn't be here. So when you, what you, you have to understand what to, how to appropriate the things that this place is pushing. And the Bible teaches us that. Our heritage teaches us that. What to do with all this filth that this place is pushing and making us feel like we're good doing it. We're not good. Our Lord is furious. Your father is furious. Your father is furious. No, it, 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 all right? it's working. You're just you get, you're getting it with his your, leg. your father is furious, all right? Let me read this and then we're going to shut down. Come on. The book of Romans, chapter 1 and verse 26. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affections. What's the cause? Because we stepped away from his commandments. That's right. We, it's a spirit in us. It's a spirit in you. You know that what you're doing ain't right. You know that. But you know what they do in this world today? Without the Bible, I would say, 
Do they know? But guess what? I know you know. I know you know. And because you go against what you know is wrong, read. For even their woman uh -huh. did change the natural use uh -huh. into that which is against nature. What is against nature? What is against nature? Now you're laying down just because men ain't even supposed to be laying down just for pleasure. Pleasure is just a product of reproducing. Sex feels good. That's all. That's all. But the purpose of sex is to reproduce. That's right. That's how you are. That's how everybody you see are here. That's how. Come on. And likewise, also the men leaving the natural use uh -huh. of the woman. So now the men don't touch the women and the women don't touch the men. The whole place now. Read. Imagine what that looks like. Would you like that? If everybody lived with this ideology in their mind, I'm only women touch women, only men touch men. Y'all would like that? That would be all right? You, you, you wouldn't care? Nope, we would all die. Everybody would be dead. Everybody would be dead. Bring it out. Everybody. How would you understand? Like, how, who would you raise? Who would you bring up? Who would you, what, what baby could you say? No, listen, I'm going to teach you. How could you fulfill that natural desire in you to raise a child? How? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How could your parents have raised you? How could you have raised yourself without that natural? Just like you say, well, I ain't had no mama, I ain't had no daddy. But you had a, you had, you still had a will to live. That proves that you have a desire to raise something, to live, to create life. But we've been dumbed down in the society. We've been dumbed down, but that's no, that's no difference than them putting us to death in these streets. It's the same thing. It's population control. And guess what? They're not pushing that lesbianism spirit like that in the white neighborhoods, in the white culture. They're pushing that with us, like Black Lives Matter. Y'all know that's a farce, right? Y'all know that, right? Y'all know that, right? Y'all think that's legit? Google it. Look it up. We ain't got time to deal with it. We got to, come on. Come on. We finish this and then we're going to go. Yes, sir. Burn in their lust one toward another. Read. What? Woman with woman. Man with man. Burning in their lust one toward another. Read. Men with men. Working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves uh -huh. that recompense uh -huh. of their error. What's the recompense? Destruction from God. That's right. Destruction. Destruction from God. And I'm talking erased. If you leave this earth without having produced anything, you are erased. You are erased. Suicide. Come on. Is that it on that? Come on. Which was meat. Which was meat, meaning that's what you deserve. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth. <laughs>